Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Schick and this is the outdoors. Beautiful, right? Spring is finally starting to be in the air. Lake trail fishing though, that's what we're going back to right now. This obviously isn't happening right now. I am gonna do a catch and cook here at some point. I got some lake trout that I brought back with me, so we're going to do a bake at some point. But first, this video, I just wanted to do the intro here because I wanted to clear a few things up that this video was filmed a few weeks ago before all the craziness thing, all the craziness has gone down, right? With the lockdowns and everything like that. And I do want to say you should take it serious. I know in a video before I made some comment about the media blowing things out of proportion, whatnot. And I was more referring to the whole, they're more worried about people buying toilet paper and all this stuff instead of just talking about the truth and the whole matter is. It's almost a serious situation. It spreads fast. COVID-19 is a killer, plain and simple. It, you know, like 60 healthy doctors and nurses have died in Italy, like that's huge. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. Be safe out there. If you do go fishing, yes, obviously you're supposed to go with just your household, but go to a low risk situation. Don't go somewhere where it's way out and you could run a risk of getting hurt or injured and end up in the hospital and taking up uh, hospital space that the doctors and everybody might need for, you know, for COVID-19 patients if it comes to that. Here in Saskatchewan, we're safe. When I crossed the Manitoba Saskatchewan border, of course I had to quarantine for 14 days, which I've been doing and editing. I believe I'm free now, but it doesn't mean I'm just gonna go, you know, hammer around everywhere. Now I can maybe go get some groceries or whatever and that stuff and say, so we'll use the fire pit. It's been a long in intro, I know, but I just wanna say, tell everybody, please be safe. It is serious in that situation where it could get you. It's a silent killer, plain and simple. I should also mention, thank you guys so much for all the support all winter. It's been amazing. I know this intro is getting crazy long, but I just wanna say thank you to everybody that has watched the videos all winter. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you want. We've got a pile of different pile of different videos out there, ice fishing, open water, etc. cetera. And uh, watch this video from the beginning to the end. Put it on, sit back, have some popcorn, have a beverage of your choice, sit back, relax, and uh, share with me what was an incredible day of fishing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's prime time. 6.36, which means the sun has not even risen yet. It's crazy windy outside. I vouch just to get the heater going and everything set up in here before I even opened up my cameras because I just wanted to get fishing as quick as I could. And a lot of times, if you, as you know, I've talked about in the past, the videos that if your camera is outside in the cold weather, you bring it in and the warmth, that's when you'll fog. So I got, my cameras were all warm in the camera case and I didn't open the camera case until I got the shack relatively warm still a little bit chilly but this is amazing amazing i'm not here to medium for a little bit oh life is good back in the otter ice olating i think that'll be the title of this video i'm ice olating oh i didn't mention I got the lucky hoodie on today with the lucky hat Good things. There we go. First one of the morning. Took a little while. It's 8.30, right? Two hours. It's funny how it's like, it can change one day to the next. You never know when your bite window is gonna come. I've hardly marked any fish. Had one, one, no, two smaller marks, I guess. Oh, oh, there was my chair. Just stood up, not just lean forward. Doesn't feel very big, but it's not a it's not a rat either, I don't think. Little guy to start the day. But it's something. It's something. She was looking. She was looking bleak for a while. Why did my tube stop moving? Because there's a fish grabbed it. I was dropping the bottom and I was following my tube and all of a sudden it stopped moving. And the mark I saw it was a fish, not my tube. <laughs> That's funny. 
<laughs> like, it just stopped falling, but I'm still marking my tube. No, that was a fish. That was a fish. Oh, little guy. You can get off, I won't get mad, buddy. Here he comes. Guess I'm calling them little when really they're not that little. <laughs> Actually, this is a decent fish. Okay, there we go. Dark one right in the top. <laughs> Dark fish. See, the hook is just, they don't always go all the way in. Okay. Thanks for visiting today, buddy. Yes, you can go. Yes, you can go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. You can go. You can go. It's okay. I wonder what he'll do if I drop the spoon down to him. Let's see. Look at him. He likes that. A little bit more his size, maybe, right? Yeah. Just a little bit more of his size. Tube jig was just a little bit too much of a, too big of a meal for him, probably. Not that he couldn't eat, he just was choosing not to right now. Having that spoon set up, like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet off the bottom is quite, quite handy. Little guy, little spoon. There you go. Back down. A couple videos ago, I said I always get people that send me lures in the mail, and sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. These ones right here, my favorite tube jig, tied with some some hair. Oh, I take the barb off real quick and drop it down. Uh, these come from Graeme. I hope I don't butcher this last name. Belia, Graeme Belia, Belia flies. I'll put his information here, just like I did for cougars and. Also, you'll find a link to his Instagram in uh, my description below. But uh, he has sent me some baits in the past. I just haven't really put them to good use yet, but we're going to see what happens here. There's a lots of different uh, tubes out there that people will do like this that tie some hair and some flash in and whatnot. And he custom, make them, make, custom makes them, so basically you can kind of have whatever you want made pretty convenient but we shall see if we can get anything done with it it's got my favorite color on it for sure oh here we go here we go well okay just like the other video <laughs> when i dropped that jig down it took like two minutes again literally i just dropped it down and i bet you two two or three minutes and i'll have proof on the Oh, my flasher camera. I put it up before. Ha, huh, I won't have proof for you. Never mind. I was checking some settings on my depth finder. My flasher cam hasn't been going for probably all the fish this morning. Well, that makes for bad video, Clayton. How did I not notice that? And I just lost that fish too. <sighs> I'm in need of a cameraman. It was a small fish. Sorry, my bad. I'll take the blame for that one. Blame the camera guy. That's me. Oh, 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 chasing, chasing, come on. There we go. Well, 11 o'clock. Still not crazy, but I'm picking them up here and there. Steady, kind of, does that make sense? It's not crazy, but it's steady. Anything can be steady. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this shows is probably the biggest of the day. It's not very big, but like I said, just because it's not crazy doesn't mean it's steady. If you catch a fish every half hour, it's still steady. Just wrapped up in my other line, so I wanna try to get him in quick so it doesn't make too big of a mess. Oh, he's just kind of side hooked. That's why he felt a little bit, a little bit better. 
You're not better. I know you think you are, but you're not. Okay. See this hook that Graham ties has a trailer on it. Without that trailer, it wouldn't have caught that fish, which to me wouldn't be the end of the world with their, with this size. Because I'm looking for the big girls. If the small ones get away, they get away. Okay, another one. Another one bites the dust. Back down, buddy. Okay, wrapped up my other line, but not too bad. Just one little, one little wrap. Oh yeah, I opened the bail on this thing. I'm like, why is it falling to the bottom? Look at that fish chase it up from the bottom. <laughs> Okay, I'll catch you before I drop my jig down. You can come up and play too. Come on. Got some little guys moving in, obviously. Come on, here it comes. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. The old up bite. Well, that was a quick little kind of a double header anyway. I still love the smaller lures for like the action fish. Come on, buddy. Come on, come up. Maybe he's a little bit better than I thought. Maybe a little bit better. He's not bad. It's not bad. He's, he's action anyway, right? A little bit better. It's trying to freak right out on me. I like to bring them up a little bit quicker. Or a little bit. I like to bring them up as fast as I can in the sense so I don't tire them out. And that's why they always have so much energy when they get up here. Well, I know this works a bit. I'm going to go back to my normal jig for a while. My one that I have the most confidence in. I'm bad for that of wanting to use like confidence bait, right? Like I think that's people in general. You, uh, you can't gain confidence in new lures if you always go to your old confidence bait. But I can do whatever I want. This is going to seem super basic, and it is. When I go out on the ice for the day, I try to eliminate some of the stuff I take with me. I kind of dummy it down a little bit. I have more tackle, obviously, but here I don't want to wreck all the tackle at once. So today... We have my tackle box. I have the glow chartreuse, I guess they're not glow, the chartreuse jigs, which I really like. And then here's another color chartreuse bait. And then these are a glow. These things glow up. Awesome. And then the white. Those are a six inch tube. I don't really know where you guys can get them. Uh, the fish and hole in Saskatoon sells them. Pokies in Regina used to sell them. Uh, Pete's tackle in the paw. Manitoba sells them. I always I try to stop there on my way up and grab a couple. And I put in these two ounce tube jig heads in them. Nice and heavy, fast fall rate. Uh, a bait that I haven't given much of uh, a chance yet. This trip is the Dragon Slayer. This is made by Frostbite. And this I'm using for a jig head. Oh, this is a Buckeye Jig. Buckeye Jigs. Buckeye lure, Buckeye jig, something like that. It's from the States. We used to use these for tarpon. Like these have a strong, strong hook. Really, really good. And then of course, one of my favorites here, this super leech flutter spoon. That's been one of my favorites for the smaller trout. I really wouldn't use it for the bigger ones. I think, you know, it just got a smaller hook. I like the tube jig, but as far as the action wise, it seems to help a lot. You, you can't go wrong with the tube jig. I know lots of guys like big spoons and stuff. I used to say, put a trailer on here and it will, it'll catch you more fish. But the problem is the bigger ones, you're still gonna catch with this. You're probably not gonna need that trailer hook. Once you have that fish in here in the meat, in the meat, the like the center of the hook here, the meat of the hook, it isn't coming off. The trailer hook could get caught on the bottom of the ice, you know, run into situations like that or in your hand. Like I said on one of my other videos, I change too what my thoughts are on things like that. I don't run a trailer hook anymore and I haven't lost any big fish because of it. Um, obviously too, I was using 
this guy a little bit. I just started using some of his stuff here. Quite a wacky creation. Cougar baits. I used that in the video before. There's also this guy right here that I was using with uh, the tube jig with uh, a little bit of hair tied. I caught some fish on it. I just didn't catch anything notable yet in terms of size. So yeah, that's kind of it for the most part. And I've been matching all of those baits with uh, a 43 inch heavy frostbite rod called Mr. Big. And I've been running a 25,000 series Stratic. I think the biggest important when it comes to reels for lake trout is you need a good drag system. You need something that's that smooth pull, not jerk, jerk, jerk. That jerky drag could get you into big trouble with lake trout. You need something that's smooth. I would say if you're going to do lake trout fishing through the ice, spend a little bit more money on a good reel with a good drag system. Because if you do hook into that fish of a lifetime, you have a better chance of landing it. I'm gonna try to give him a different lure. I'm gonna try to give him the pink dragon slayer, actually. A little bit slower fall rate. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? It's right down there. It's down there. 60 feet. So you gonna see this lure falling? Oh yeah, he sees it falling for sure. I'm gonna drop it right past him. It's a decent mark. Let's see if he picks it up when it's falling. I want it to free fall. It's a decent mark. This falls a lot slower. I'm gonna sit at the bottom for this a sec. Check my drag. We're gonna see if he'll come down for it first. Not, we're gonna get, get him to work it above him. Come on. Oh, he bumped it. Probably ripped my tail off. Where'd you go? Here he comes. Here he comes. There we go. Got him. Pink Dragon Slayer. That the dragon slayer, when it comes away from the fish, it's got a nice action. So that straight, that straight up retrieve can trigger their bites for sure. That tail flaps, so nice, so nice. I messed with this fish for quite a bit, quite a while. The tube jig, and he wouldn't eat. Oh, not bad fish. Probably the biggest of the day. He's burping right now. Just gonna let him burp out. Then I'm gonna grab him. That's crazy, isn't it? All that air. Okay, there we go. Probably the biggest of the day. Hammered the dragon slayer. Look, the first time, remember when I said, probably bit my tail off? Well, it didn't stop him, did it? He came back the second time and ate it. First time I bit my tail off. Right there. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Down, you gotta go down. Yeah, we'll grab another Dragon Slayer. I'll show you quickly what I mean about the tail flapping. So these things have got the nice tail on them. When they're reeled straight up, they just flap ever so nicely. Like a little swim bait, basically, right? I haven't used them much the last couple times out, but I have used them earlier this year, and they were really good. And the nice thing about it, I talk about a tube jig being too big, for a big fish, or sorry, too big for the small fish, is that the Dragon Slayer could be like in between. You could use it for the bigger fish. I got all messed up there. You could use it for the bigger fish, or it'll still catch you action as well. It still has, it's got enough length profile that a bigger fish would still target it. Here's a serious question for you. String cheese. Why does it taste better when you string it off and eat it compared to just like taking a bite out of it. Those are the things I wonder during downtime in the ice shack. 
I can only talk to myself for so much during one day. Oh, there's a, that's a big mark coming down on my bait. That's a big mark. Yes, come on. Yes, that's big fish. That's big fish. It's freaking out. That's a big fish. Oh, I hope I got a good hook set on it. I sure don't feel like I did. Run. Run, baby. Run. Okay, I think I'm driving home. There we go. Now I feel confident I got a good hook set. That was a big mark. It was up higher. And it came straight down on my bait. Oh. We've been putting in some time today for sure. Like it's, it's four o'clock. I've almost been here for, I don't know, well, 12 hours. I got here, it's 6.30 this morning. This is good fish. It did not eat it very hard. It ate it pretty soft. Oh, it's so windy today. If you guys can hear the shack vibrating, I apologize for that. I got a pretty tight drag. Oh, this is an awesome fight. Just straight up and down. Yeah, I could tell right away, like that was a big mark. Wow, what a bulldog of a fight. So amazing. Okay, he's coming up. I got him at 52 and a half. I don't, I don't, they're always hard to tell how big they are. Man, my arms have been sore from catching lake trout. That's a good, that's a good thing, right? There's no, there's nothing more exciting than lake trout. Nothing more exciting. That was crazy. That mark was up higher and came down. Oh boy. That's a big run. That is a big run. Oh. Having some unbelievable days. Unbelievable. It's the biggest thing with lake trout. You know, if you want to catch one over 40 inches, you just have to put your time in. Oh. You can see me messing around with my drag a little bit like I talk about in all my other videos. I got my rod buried into my gut right now. It's for a little bit extra. And when he wants to run and I feel like I'm not giving him too much because the drag is what's going to tire him out too. But I'm, if the, if it just feels like he's going to, that there just isn't enough giveness. Like that time he's running, I got, I'm good. Back down. Wow, it's back down at 52 and a half feet. This fish is feeling pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't like that. This fish is feeling pretty good. Make sure I'm not hung up on the ice at all. No, we're all good in that aspect. It's got me down to 60 feet again. Okay, coming up now. Look at all of the the interference in the depth finder now that's all from like him burping and letting air out this is unbelievable this is a fight and a half i'm gonna have to fast forward some of the fight it's too long right a bit fast forward mode okay we're gonna get you up this time, girl. She's coming. I haven't had this fish above 37 and a half feet yet. 45. Just watching my depth finder. I can tell it's getting just a little bit more tired now. 37 and a half, but it's got big violent head shakes, that's for sure. Oh. Big head shakes. Just side to side. Oh. The wind is just howling. No, are you really going back down again? This is insane. Probably looks so bad, rod buried in here. That's why I have the gut, ladies and gentlemen, so I can bury the lake trout rod in. Rod is doubled right over, back to 52 and a half feet. My turn, we're gonna crank up the drag a little bit. We're gonna give it to him hard right now. He just took that big run. If you can give him a little bit, and if he's gonna turn around, look at all the air he's gassing right now. That's a good sign. Bubbles are good. 
means he's getting tired. Back down. I've always talked about that when he runs. Don't pull back. Wait till it's your turn. Wait till you have his head turned before you do the, the pull. I almost did that. Okay. What a fight. What a fight. I've got the bump board right here, ready to go. Pliers behind me if needed. I don't know where he is right now. He must be out to the side a bit. I don't see him on the depth finder. Checking my drag constantly. This fish is heavy. Okay, 45 feet. Oh, oh, oh. If I was a betting man, I would bet on me having a new PB on right now. For how much weight is here. This fish has fought straight up and down, which has been a big difference from the other fish where they ran out to the sides. This one's been straight up and down pretty much, which I like though. I, the less my line can rub on that hole, the better. Are you guys liking this? Like smash that like button, you guys. I having an epic few days. Like, oh, okay, here we go, 37 feet. Just wanna see him. Just wanna see him. Turn my drag up a bit, put the gears to him. 30 feet, it's coming. 22, I'm not letting him turn around yet. If he's gonna make a turn, I want him to run down, I want him to put up the muscle. Here we go, I'm gonna see him soon. He's at, he's at eight feet. Oh, I saw a tail and it looks big. Yeah, uh, you know, you can't tell, bubbles. Go out of watch near that hole. Remember I talked about my leader. I know my leader was above, so I knew I had to be careful. Oh, it's pretty big. Big nose, big nose. We're gonna be very, very close to crash hammering a new PB again, you guys. Oh, come on, come on. Here it comes, oh, it's big. It's big, it's big. It is a ginormous lake trout. Oh my, it's big. <coughs> I think I just hammered a new PB again. <sighs> easy girl, easy girl, easy girl. These things are out of control. <sighs> oh, oh, oh my, what is it? It is a PB, it is. It's 40, 42 and a half. Okay. Oh, I'm just giving it a drink for a second here. Just a quick drink. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna show it off one more time. And then we're gonna send it back. 42 and a half inches. Again, new PB. <laughs> Unbelievable, baby. Lake trout. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked in the top of the mouth, not in the gill at all. Very healthy. What a fight. What a fight. Oh. My heart's racing. You guys. Epic. Epic. I don't know of a better way to end that day than right here. New PB. It's four o'clock. I'm exhausted. Been a giving her for 10 hours. Been up super early. I'm a loss for words. Unbelievable. I was so confused on that fish when the hook like just came right out and is in the bottom. It's so weird. But then I saw the hole in the top of the mouth where it actually was. As soon as I picked it up and took off the pressure, the hook just fell out that easy. <sighs> I can't believe this. I'm sorry for saying hit that like button when I was fighting that fish. That was so lame of me. You guys like the video if you want to like the video. I shouldn't have, shouldn't ask like that. Oh, that was an epic fight. Like epic, epic. epic i mean i'm interested to see how long it is because it's probably at the most at the most 
a 10 minute fight. And when I hear guys talking about fighting a fish for 40 minutes, man, you gotta learn how to fight a fish when it comes to that. Uh, quick story time. Used to go down to Florida, fish tarpon. I have a bunch of buddies down there. We'd hook tarpon and we'd fight them for like an hour and a half, two hours. And what is going on? Like, why is it taking so long? And it was, you get on top of it and you pull up. I had a chance to sit down with Stu App, who's a legendary fly fisherman, legendary. And I asked him, I says, how do you catch all these tarpon on these fly rods with like light line? And he's like, it's all about the side pressure. It's all about putting pressure on the fish in a way they don't want to go. Now ice fishing obviously is a lot harder. You got to fight these trout up and down. What I'm getting at is you can't be scared to give it to the fish when it's your turn. I let him play. I let him run when he wanted to, but when it was my turn. I cranked up my drag and I horsed him up. If he wanted to turn and go back down, all means I loosen the drag and let him run a bit. But that's when they, that's when they lose their, their strength is when they make those bigger runs and they're pulling against some drag too and it's harder for them to go. That's my, that's my little rant. Fish, taking care of fish is more than just treating them with respect above the hole, above the ice I should say. It's about learning how to fight them below the ice too. Looks like a good mark. Good mark. Oh, that's a good fish. That's another good fish. Are what? Really? Again? Like I just caught a good one. They always seem to move in pairs, though. Sometimes this one doesn't seem as big. That's nice. Unless it doesn't know it's hooked yet. We'll see, it's still coming up. I'm trying to give it to her hard. There we go, now it's, now it's running. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? My turn? Jeez. This has been incredible, incredible. What a day, the day started off, you know, I wouldn't say slow, just, you know, nothing bigger than like 26 inches some little guys, that can happen though. They, fish move in and out of areas. This one doesn't feel as big, but he's nice. He's a fighter, he's a, like his head shakes feel smaller side to side oh but i am uh i want the drag screaming that's what i came for right yeah definitely i'd say like a mid 30 inch fish maybe 37 feet right now these fish have so much strength oh you just wait for those bite windows like long days, March, you get to be some like super long days, like long days, like it's, you know, like seven to seven type of thing for, for light. Maybe even longer than that. Where are you at girl? I haven't seen my leader not yet. I know it's close. It's jumping around the hole. That's another sign of it being close is when your line starts to jump around that hole. And that's good if it jumps around a little bit because it's going to stop it from getting, uh, or it won't get as, it, it won't burn itself into the hole as bad. I say as bad because it can still happen. There's my leader. What do we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, this fish is bigger than I thought. This fish is. This fish is, no, oh yeah, it is. It's bigger than I thought. It's, you guys, this is bigger than the last one. It didn't fight as hard. This is bigger than the last one. I'm gonna take the hook out now. This, this fish, 
right here. I haven't pulled out of the water yet. The size of the head. This fish is telling me that it's bigger than the last one. It really is. Okay, girl. This is big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can hardly, oh. Oh my goodness. It's so fat. Look how deep that thing is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This thing is huge, huge, unbelievable. I, this fish never fought near as hard as the last one. Oh, it's huge. Are you kidding me? It's 40, 43 and a half inches. 43 and a half inches. Oh baby, it's so fat though. It's an absolute tank. Like, I mean, a tank. I can hardly even hold it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Easy girl. Look at how fat that fish is. That's why you have a double 10. That is absolutely insane. Okay, you can go. You can go. I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know what to say. I know what to say. I really don't. I really don't know what to say. It was, it never, fought, like, that was a short fight. Remember I talked to, I don't have to say anything more. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mine is blown. You guys, I'm ending it on that fish. I'm ending it on that fish. Thanks for watching. Get outside.